Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at another ink. Today it's going to be Diamine Wild Strawberry. Very interesting kind of uh, reddish orange ink, and I like Diamine stuff quite a bit. This is one of the 30 milliliter bottles, got these in a bundle, and they're not too bad. Um, these are all made in the UK. Diamine is very, very reliable as far as inks are concerned. Um, I've never had any flow issues or anything with them. And they generally just perform very, very well. If, if there's like a go-to ink for me or ink brand, it's usually either going to be Pilot or Roshizuku or one of these Diamine bottles. You can get them in 30 milliliters and 80 milliliters. These bottles run about $7.50 a piece, which is pretty good. Um, Diamine's one of the cheaper ink brands. Very simplistic plastic bottle. Fairly narrow neck here, which is, you know, it's it's okay. Some pens can fit in there just fine. Larger pens, um, I've had some issues with my Lamy 2000 fitting in there. My Pelican M805 most certainly cannot. My Twisby Vac 700 can't. Mm -mm. Um, so that's a little irritating. But the price is really good, and I like their labels and things like that, so it's, it's nice. The ink's very reliable. Very simple branding, like I said, made in the UK. It has some uh, bottle information down here, barcode, etc., and 30 milliliter diamond. diamond. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the ink swatch here. So, like I said, it's kind of like an orangey red. Um, it is, it's very much a red, but it has kind of a, an orange tone to it. But it's very punchy, very bright, very vibrant red. I really, really like this color. Um, it's not my favorite red, but it's pretty far up there. You can see there's most definitely some shading here. It goes from kind of this, um, you know, nice vibrant red to, here's a little bit more of the orange down here. It can get a little darker. And pretty consistent red on the back. It's, it's a very, very nice color. I like it quite a bit. Let's go ahead and compare it to um, two other ink colors in my collection that aren't exactly close, but are on like uh, kind of two ends of the spectrum. So first up, we have Newler's Widowmaker, which is one of my favorite reds. You can see it has mm, maybe a little bit more of a purple tone. It's a it's a much darker red, but I, I promise you, it's still a very vibrant red. It's just compared to this almost neon-y red color. It's a little weird. And Diamond Pumpkin. This is my token orange ink. Now, you can most definitely see here that this kind of slots, maybe maybe if this weren't so purple, it would kind of slot right between them. You can definitely see the orange, the orange tones getting pulled, but it's, it's most certainly a red. But it kind of sits in that nice spectrum. It's very warm, very vibrant, nice color. Let's go ahead and take a look at a writing sample here. Get all that out of the way. And we'll be using the Pilot Vanishing Point with a medium nib. It's going to be Dial Mine Wild Strawberry. I did not capitalize that S and I don't know why. But I do a lot of stupid things during writing samples. It's very difficult for me to write these, trying to write around all this equipment. But you can kind of read it, sort of. Yeah, it's a very nice, very vibrant red. And um, it's just, it's pretty good. Um, You can definitely notice some shading in the writing. Let's go and take a look at the uh, dry times here. Let's go and do one, three, five, seven, and ten. And I'm aware that since they're longer than a second, but it's not too bad. Take a look at three. This pen is, it's, it's fairly wet, but it's not the wettest, so I imagine it will be dry by ten, but we'll see. Hmm. It's almost there. So you can see it's, like I said, it's just a, it's a nice, vibrant red color. It has some, some orangish tones to it, especially if you're using it in a finer nib and you're not getting as much ink put down, you're going to get a lot more of that um, orangey yellow side of it than the red. But if you're writing with it normally, it just looks like a kind of a legal red pen or something they would use in school to you know, tell you to do horrible on test. 
but it's a very, very nice color. I like it quite a bit. I don't use it a ton just because there's more interesting shades out there to me. But in a 30 milliliter bottle, I think it's perfectly acceptable. Um, it's, it's just a very nice ink to have. I enjoy having it. I don't use it a lot, like I said, but it's, it's a really nice option and a very nice middle ground if you're kind of wanting somewhere between orange and red. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out my other stuff. I have other ink reviews, pen reviews, a bunch of other stuff on my channel. Um, feel free to go through it. And if you like what you see here, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.